This video will show you how to import copyright free music from YouTube Audio Library to ShareFactory on your PS5. Now ShareFactory already has around 120 music tracks already installed but if you want more options from YouTube Audio Library we'll go through how to find YouTube Audio Library music, how to download it, how to import it into ShareFactory on your PS5 and then how to add it to your ShareFactory video project. To do this you do need a USB stick, a PC or laptop and of course ShareFactory on the PS5 and I'll show you all the steps needed and show you the music format that ShareFactory accepts plus mention how to get around any errors you may find and of course do remember to check and make sure that the music you use is copyright free. Skip ahead to the time on screen if you already have your USB stick and folders already in place but if not let's go ahead and get these sorted out for you now. So let's get started. So plug in your USB stick to your PC or laptop and I would advise you to use an empty USB stick because we're going to reformat it to make sure it will work for ShareFactory. So you go to USB stick and you right click on it and you go to format. And then what you want to do is go down to file system and choose XFAT. This does delete all existing data on there and that's why it needs to be empty. So if you have got stuff on your USB stick, save it somewhere else before you do this, otherwise you will lose it all. Now we need to create some folders to put the music. So we're going to click on the USB stick and then right click in the empty space and then go to new and then folder. And then we're going to rename this folder as share factory. Once you've done that, confirm and then click on share factory, right click in space, go to new and then click on folder and we're renaming in this one music so all of our music can go into this folder so you should find you've got the usb then share factory then music now within the music folder you could actually set up extra folders if you wanted to so share factory music and then folder one and then you could have share factory music and folder two and so on to keep different music if you're going to have lots of music it's well worth doing that these are the supported music formats that we'll accept, so do note those. MP4 seems to be the main one that people choose. And here are the bit rates to note when you're downloading or importing music as well. Okay, so let's get on to the PC and go to YouTube. And on the top right hand corner, you go to your profile picture and click on YouTube Studio. And then down the left hand side, you will see that there's this option down the bottom where there's the music note and it's called Audio Library. So we click on Audio Library and then this gives us all the music tracks and sound effects and there's also the option of starring your favorite tracks as well so what you could do is go to music and just give you the basic layouts you've got the track titles here you can click on that to uh, sort them in terms of track title you've got artist you can't do all of them um, but you can change added and different things so play about with however you want it to go uh, to help you find the music that you want you can also go to this filter icon here where you can filter the mood or the artist name or whatever you want and you can choose for example dramatic apply it and then you've got uh, all the dramatic uh, moods songs and uh, tracks from there so you've also got these options where it's got the filter down the side you can do, use that as well to filter how you want also if you use the filter you can delete it by pushing the x next to it and if you want to star a song just go to star click on it and then you'll see so brontosaurus we start go to start and then you'll see brontosaurus is added there at the bottom so that's always an option for the songs that you really want to keep an eye on or use at a later point so we can delete that there there's the filter again and we could go to search so i've got a song that i know that i've used in the past and i want to search for it so i'm going to click in or oh, type in funky karaoke i think it is and then there you go it's come up with that name of the song i can play it to make sure i listen to it and make sure i want to use it and then you can look at the license type and it shows you that uh, whether the license needs to be attributed or the song needs to be attributed um, if you use it in your content so do always check that like i mentioned before if you want to download the song just go to this button here click on download and it will bring it to a file on your pc and you can click on this little icon it'll bring up the file that it's been stored in okay so let's just move that up so we can see it a bit better so there's the song at the top that's highlighted if we scroll down we can find the usb stick and then go to share factory and there's the music folder that we created so we just want to drag that song into the music folder once that's done we can take the usb out of the pc and put it into the ps5 ready to use 
As mentioned before, there's two options for importing music. So we've got the USB in the PS5. So now we can just go to the main menu and go to Toolbox and then go into Import Music. Now there's two options, most recent and import from USB. We want to click on Import from USB. And this is the music that we put on the USB. We push the cross button and that brings up a little tick here. And then we can push the square button to import the selected clip or track. Once you've done that, it takes a couple of moments and there you go, most recent, there is the track sat there ready to be used in your project. So you can go back to the video editor and then you just choose whichever project you want to add the music to. I'm just going to randomly select this point here that we want it to start. So we push the cross button and go to add music. Here is the imported track. So just make sure you're on the music track that you want and push the X button to add it to your project. Now there's, I don't want to make this video too long, so just to let you know, if you push the X button on the controller, it will bring you up lots of different options. So you can split and trim and move the uh, music track, you can delete it, clone it, you can change the volume of course, and of course you can fade in and fade out. You can also clone the clip so you've got lots of the same track, one after the other, or you can add other music tracks of course. So totally up to you what you want to do, just play about with it and get used to it. But let's get on to the second option of how to add the imported clip to your project. So instead of going into the main menu and into the toolbox and importing the music from there, we can go straight into a project that we want to add the music track to and just choose wherever we want to go in the project, push the X button, go to add music and on the left hand side it says import from USB, click on import from USB and then it gives us all the options of the music that we can import. So we choose the one we want, push the X button, push the square button to import that music track. Once that's completed, it will be set in your project. And there you go, there it is. And you've got the same options as we had before. So you can just play about with those, get exactly how you want it. And hopefully it works out really well for you. So if you do have any problems importing the music to Share Factory, then usually it's one of these three things. Check USB is formatted correctly, check the music track is acceptable format, and check that the USB folders are named correctly. And if you check all those, it should work absolutely fine. On screen are some videos to watch. Next, please hit the like button if you found this useful and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks very much for watching and bye.